16 million years ago the largest crocodilian ever swam through the channels, rivers and floodplains of the prehistoric Amazon. This creature had one of the strongest bites ever, and had a skull like no other crocodilian. This was Purasaurus. There are three known species of Purasaurus, with the first one to be discovered being Purasaurus brasiliensis, which was later followed by Purasaurus novensis and Purasaurus mir and I both of which remain undescribed. From the fossilized remains of these creatures, it is clear that they were large animals. Purasaurus is a giant prehistoric crocodilian, similar to the cretaceous age Sarcosuchus and Dianosuchus, but with some interesting anatomical differences that make it potentially even more terrifying than those other organisms. According to a study from 2015 that analyzed the length, mass, and bite force of Purasaurus brasiliensis, this beast potentially had one of the most powerful bites amongst all animals, as well as being the heaviest crocodilomorpha ever recorded. Estimates showed the Purasaurus could achieve masses of around 8.4 metric tons with an incredible bite force of over 69,000 newtons. Additionally, the total length of the animal was estimated from the fossil remains being placed at 12 and a half meters. Interestingly, Purasaurus lived at the same time as Megalodon, and although caiman are incapable of living in salt water for extended periods like crocodiles are, they will still venture into brackish water, and there are many shark species who venture into brackish and fresh water, so it is very possible these two beasts interacted at some point. While an adult Megalodon was much larger than a Purasaurus, subadults and juveniles could have been outmatched by a Purasaurus. Purasaurus had a snout that was much broader and shorter than the snouts of its Cretaceous counterparts, Dianosuchus and Sarcosuchus, resulting in a bulkier neck with stronger, larger muscles required to support the front of its skull, contributing to the animal's increased mass. However, the accuracy of the study's methods for calculating the weight, length, and bite force of Purasaurus has been questioned due to a possible error in the measurements of the fossil skull material. As a result, the total length of the species has been brought down to 10.9 meters, the mass to 5.6 metric tons, and the bite force to 52,500 newtons. But crocodilians possess a feature called indeterminate growth, where they keep getting larger, at some rate until they die. This means it's likely individual Purasaurus could have reached the higher estimates. The fossils of Purasaurus currently known are limited to skull material making it difficult to estimate the total body length accurately. Nevertheless, the skull of Purasaurus contains valuable anatomical information that has allowed paleontologists to gain insights into the extinct caiman's lifestyle. Teeth, in particular, provide crucial information about an organism's way of life, and the adaptations visible in Purasaurus's teeth are highly valuable for understanding the creature as a whole. All of the teeth are similar in size and shape all curving inwards and backwards. These teeth are well suited for piercing and smashing, as well as resisting breakage when in contact with hard materials like bone. Additionally, the teeth have ridges that help to puncture and slice flesh, indicating that Purasaurus was a predator of other large body vertebrates. The skull of Purasaurus also contains other adaptations that allowed it to deal with the immense cranial forces generated by its powerful bite. For example, the large external nostril, or nearest, in the rostrum of the caiman was designed to dissipate the significant forces produced by the snapping jaws, thereby preventing damage to the skull. This unique feature, along with the nearest bone anatomy, enabled Purasaurus to achieve the colossal bite forces for which it is known. The skull anatomy of Purasaurus offers valuable insights into the lifestyle and predatory habits of this extinct caiman. The Purasaurus genus lived during the Miocene epoch and inhabited the mega wetland systems in northern South America. These ecosystems were incredibly diverse, populated by a variety of other vertebrate fossils. The crocodiliform record in these areas is also diverse, with Purasaurus sharing its habitat with smaller caiman species, large gharials, other giant crocodilians, and even some fully terrestrial crocodiliforms. Purasaurus may have been an example of niche partitioning, becoming the apex predator of the ecosystem, and specializing to feed on bigger, more particular prey items that were unavailable to other species. In support of this idea, 
Purasaurus possesses stout teeth, increasing their strength along with other adaptations, which would have helped them prey on larger vertebrates. The prey that Purasaurus could have targeted include a variety of large animals from the same formation, such as giant turtles, pelicaniform birds, extinct capybara relatives, and many kinds of xenarthrans. Noto ungulates, a group of hoofed mammals that only existed in South America and are now extinct, also lived in the same area. There is even evidence of Purasaurus interacting with turtles, as a fossilized shell of an unidentified species of giant turtle has been found with feeding traces possibly made by the caiman. Given that modern crocodilians are known to prey on turtles, it is likely that large prehistoric turtles were part of Purasaurus's diet. Although this is the only direct evidence of its feeding habits, its adaptations and large size suggest that Purasaurus preyed on other large animals. Purasaurus very likely employed the same ambush techniques we see in modern crocodilians, but given the aquatic diversity of its habitat this was probably much more rare than in most modern crocodilians. To consume its prey, it may have employed the death roll, a technique observed in living crocodilians where the animal spins around while biting down on its prey to incapacitate and dismember it. A study from 2014 showed that Purasaurus was capable of executing the death roll, using a biomechanical model to analyze how its skull would have functioned under the torsional stresses of the action. Despite its impressive size and predatory abilities, the giant Purasaurus eventually went extinct. This extinction may have been brought about by the very factors that made the genus successful in the first place. By growing to such a large size and specializing in larger prey, Purasaurus required specific environmental and ecological conditions to continue its existence. These conditions changed, and the wetlands in which Purasaurus and other animals lived disappeared during the Pliocene epoch. This resulted in the extinction of many local fauna and a shift in ecosystems. The loss of the unique wetlands was likely due to the increase in the rate and extent of Andean mountain building, resulting in an Amazon river system more similar to the one seen today during the end of the Miocene and into the Pliocene. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe as there are more to come. Don't forget to like and comment if you have any thoughts. Have a great day.